Hi, and welcome back. We are continuing our Microsoft Teams video series. And in today's video, we will be discussing navigating your Microsoft Teams meeting interface. Again, this video is geared towards trainees, YTAP trainees who have YTAP email addresses as the interface will be slightly different if you have if you sign in without a Microsoft 365 account. So we're going to be answering the question, what happens after you click on the join button? So let's get started. When you click on a meeting link or you go to your calendar and you click on the join button, you are taken to this screen, which basically gives you the name of the meeting and you are now asked to set to, or to choose your audio and video settings. My camera is currently turned off. My microphone is on. And I am going to join the meeting now. Right? Ideally, you should start your meeting with your microphone muted and you can you can decide whether you want your camera on or off before you start the meeting you can start the meeting with your camera off and then turn your camera on as you get into the after you get into the meeting but you should definitely always mute your microphone before entering okay so we're going to click on the join now button and this is going to take us into our meeting once you get into the meeting you will see the the organizer of the meeting and all the participants in the meeting. But you, are, you will recognize immediately that your meeting screen is different from the app interface, which I would have shown you in your last video. Your app interface, of course, being this interface. Let's look at this meeting screen. To the top, we have your title bar, which basically tells you the name of the meeting. You have your control buttons, your minimize button, your maximize restore button, and your close button. Underneath that, you will have your control bar. This button here indicates that this meeting has been encrypted and your meeting is secure. This is your meeting counter. So this counter starts to run from the minute the organizer starts the meeting. As we move on, we have your people button, your chat button, reactions, rooms, more, camera, microphone, share, and then your leave button. I'm going to go in turn and we're going to look at all of these settings as well as we're going to uh, go into some of the more actions and you can look at some of the additional settings that you may need to adjust to have the best possible meeting experience. The people button opens up the participants panel and basically it lists everyone in the meeting. So if you are the organizer, the name, the word organizer is attached to the person who started or sorry, the person who organized or set up the meeting and then everyone else in the meeting will be guests in the meeting. To close the participants panel, you can simply close by clicking on the X here, but these are all toggle buttons, meaning you click to turn on and you click to turn off. The next button is your conversation button, fondly known as the chat button. Clicking on the chat button opens up the meeting chat. And with the meeting chat, you have a number of different things that can happen. You will see all the, all the chats or all the correspondence that students, uh, your fellow classmates, have posted. And you can also post in the chat. So let's look at an example of things you can do in your meeting chat. So I'm going to put something in the chat here. I'm going to say hello. Now I can send off this as regular text or I can format it. So let's do some formatting. I can click, select the word hello. I can make it bold, italic, underline. I can add a highlighter color 
or I can add a font color so let's say I wanted this to be blue uh, let's choose another word here let's do some other things so I can change the font size to make this large I can also make this a bulleted list and I can send that off now any charts that I send out will automatically appear on the right side of the screen or this chat panel any chats that come in will appear on the left that's other people in the meeting when they post in the chat this is where it will appear on the left your chats will always appear on the right and of course you have reactions to chats so if somebody posts something in the chat and you like you can go ahead and you can click on the like button and you can then indicate that you agree or you like the comment that was made you can also upload files from your OneDrive or from your computer into the meeting chat you can add smileys you can add giffies so for example um, if someone celebrating a birthday today you can say happy birthday and send that out you can also add stickers so for example if you need to step away from meeting for a minute or two maybe a quick break or uh, to take a phone call you can go into the different stickers it's one called word art and you can drop a brb which is short for be right back and you can send that off your, when your teacher gets that brb they will know immediately that you are stepping away and when you come back you can you can always say well you're back into the session and your teacher will know that you are back to close off your meeting chat you can again click on the x here the close button or you could have gone back to the meeting chat and click back here to again open or close next we have the reactions your reaction buttons you have six reactions on screen five of these these five appear for a very short time and disappear just for a couple of seconds so they appear and then they disappear the raise hand button however when you click on the raise hand button your hand is raised and your teacher will know that the hand is raised to take the hand down you need to go back into the reactions and lower the hand and then the hand goes off if there are, if there are 20 people in a meeting when if everyone raises their hand immediately the list your participants list will be reordered so your teacher knows the order in which people raise their hand so that he or she can call them in order moving along quickly we have your camera so this is to turn your camera on and off microphone on and off this is your share button in another video you will see how to share content in Microsoft Teams one of my other videos I've already done for you let's look at more actions in more actions you have your device settings here you can select your settings you can choose your audio devices you can choose your speakers whether you're using headset or a specific pair of speakers you can choose the microphone that you'll be using again whether it's a headset or a microphone that's built into your device it, it's important to note if you're using a mobile phone laptop or tablet you have integrated devices which would be your built-in microphones speakers and cameras if you are using a desktop computer you may have to add those devices onto onto your computer you can switch between the different cameras on your system again if you have an integrated camera or if you have an additional camera attached to your device you can switch 
and the important thing here is noise suppression when you're in a meeting you have various noise suppression settings these settings basically allow you to do a number of different things you can turn off all noise suppression which means your microphone will pick up all your background noises you can set your noise suppression to low which means then that you can interact with everyone but the noises in your background will be muted maybe uh, it, it's enough to take away typing noises from a keyboard um, high noise suppression allows you to a greater degree of accuracy mute your background noises however if you are sharing a video that has sound if you choose high noise suppression if you, when you share that video the other people in your class and your teacher may not be able to hear the video well so you, you can choose between these settings auto is another setting you can choose um, I personally do not recommend auto I usually uh, use a high setting if I'm not sharing videos in my class or if I know I'm going to have be in a meeting where I am going to be sharing videos I will set the noise suppression to low again you need to play with these settings or choose the settings that is most relevant to, to the meeting that you are currently in and you can change these for every meeting if you need for example, uh, you can switch around your microphones if you and if one microphone stops working in a meeting, you can you can switch to another microphone, which will then allow you to be able to continue on in your meeting. If you if you have multiple cameras on your system, you can switch between your different cameras. So if one camera stops working, you have another camera that you can use. Likewise with your speakers, if one set of speakers on your computer stops working or your smartphone stops working, you could switch to maybe your headset or another set of speakers immediately so that you do not lose out in the meeting. Right? To close or to come out of this device settings, again, you can close the panel or you can go to device settings and close off. There are a few other settings here that I'm going to show you in the next video.